Hey guys, welcome back to the EC Physio YouTube channel. This chap purchased a brand new steed and was looking to get his bike fit dialed in. He brought in his brand new 2021 Giant TCR in a very stunning metallic blue color. I'm a huge fan. This cyclist wanted to ramp up his training without putting his body at risk of increased injury. Cycling is such a repetitive sport, so efficiency and comfort are key. If the biomechanics are off, even by a little, the risk of discomfort and injury increases with the miles. Upon physiotherapy assessment, he had some mild restriction of his hips into flexion. But overall, his position on the bike wasn't far off. His saddle height was set up correctly. However, his stem wasn't the correct length. Whether you buy a bike brand new or used, the length of the stock stem that comes with your bike may not be an ideal fit for your position. In this case, his shoulder angle looks open and his elbows are locked out. His knees were tracking well overall. I noticed that his knees tracked slightly lateral at the top of the pedal stroke, I think in due to his hips being mildly limited into flexion as mentioned earlier. Here is some footage slowed down to see it more clearly. To help compensate for a bit of his knee tracking issues, we've widened his stance width with adjusting his cleats and fitted a small spacer between the crank arm and the pedal. Have a look at my other videos on Q-Factor and stance width for a more detailed explanation. We decided to trial a shorter stem to see how it feels over the next 100 kilometers of riding. Sometimes it may be difficult when trying to figure out your own reach. When we try to take off and put on multiple stems, we can easily forget what the previous position felt like. What I use to dial in stem length and height is using a stem sizer. Once the stem sizer is on the bike, I can adjust the handlebar reach and height in small increments on the fly. This allows the rider to immediately feel the differences between changes in reach to the handlebars. It's quite efficient actually in getting it set up right the first time. Let me know if you have any questions about that. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.